Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. I was out at Walmart doing some grocery shopping. This was last weekend and I noticed that they had the brand new 2023 Chronicles on the shelves and I was like, maybe we should do a retail review and see if this is worth it. They had blaster boxes and also mega boxes. We're gonna pick up three of each of these and check them out and we'll see if they are worth it. So there you see the Chronicles blaster box, 30 cards per box. And then the Mega Boxes have a guaranteed auto or relic with 48 cards. We'll go through all these and see what we can find. Now the price point on these is going to be, they rang up at $24.98 for a blaster box. There's the Mega Box being scanned right now. That one would come up at $44.98, so 47 and some chains, almost 48 bucks and uh, 25 for these. So we'll go and open these all up and see if they're worth it. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. And now let's see what we find in these boxes. All right, everybody, we are back from Walmart. We're gonna check out the new 2023 Chronicles. This is a retail review. I also picked up one box of everything from Walmart. These I picked up last week when I saw them come out, but I just been so busy with Topps Chrome Update and doing videos about that product that I haven't had time to do this video until now. And then yesterday I went to Walmart and there's a bunch of stuff, new, freshly stocked inventory. They had archives, blasters on the shelves. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to pick up one of every single box. So that'll be a fun video. We might do that tomorrow, maybe Tuesday, but that one's coming soon as well. So let's check these out. 2023 Chronicles. One thing I've noticed is the price has come down on retail and it's about time. I've been complaining about Panini retail prices since they went up to what, $35 a box for a blaster box last year, was that what it was for like Optic and Chronicles? I think it was just way too high for what the uh, return on it, the investment is. So we have two different boxes that we picked up today. And yesterday I picked up the fat packs. We'll check those out in the box of everything. I literally bought one of every single baseball product that was on the shelves. But this one here, this is $24.98 and... The Mega Box has one guaranteed autograph or relic. So I wish it would be an autograph every time. That would make it a little more worth it, but it's not too bad. It is $44.98. So 45 bucks for this, you're paying 20 extra dollars for that relic or auto. Plus, you also get, oh, what, almost double the cards. There's 30 cards in this. There's 48 cards in this one. Let's go ahead and get things started. Jack Holland is going to start us off. The way I sold this was each person that bought a spot gets a blaster and a mega box. So, Jack, let's check out your blaster first and see what we can find. By the way, if you'd like to participate in any videos like this when we sell all the spots on our Patreon page, you can join up on Patreon. There's a link in the description. Or you can just Google Join Jab Family Patreon and go to the Patreon site there and join that way. Tonight, we have a special Patreon-only live stream where we will be opening a whole bunch of different products and uh, it's our Saturday showdown. We're giving away a $500 Ken Griffey Jr. 1989 Bowman rookie card painting. It's literally a painting of Griffey's rookie. Should be pretty awesome. Every time you grab a spot, you're entered into that. So check that one out tonight. It'll be fun. It's on Patreon only. And now let's go ahead and see what we can find for Jack Holland here and see if we can find some lucky cards. Jack usually has some good luck here on the channel. Here we go. Chronicles Blaster Box. Fergie Jenkins leads it off with Joe Girardi. Remember, it's all old players and prospects in this as they do not have a Players Association license anymore. They can't use any active players. Every now and then you'll see like a Bobby Witt Jr. or L.A. De La Cruz or someone that's in the big leagues that has kind of been uh, loopholed into being this product. There's Craig Vigio Revolution card. It'll be interesting to see if we pull any autographs from these blasters. Got Justin Crawford there, Catfish Hunter Pinnacle Designs. So Chronicles has a whole bunch of different designs working for you here, if you like the different designs. Some people really love this product. This one's out of 99, Francisco Alvarez. Some people dislike Panini just because of the lack of logos. Andy Rodriguez, rookie card, Pirates Catcher. All these upside-down cards make me think we're going to have a hit. There's David Wells. Ricky Tiedemann right there. We'll switch to this one around. We've got Nomar Garcia Parra, Mikey Romero, Dylan Lesko. So nothing too crazy in this first one. Marcelo Myers, a nice name. And we wrap this one up here with another Francisco Alvarez, Bernie Williams. And now it's time to check out the 
mega box. So nothing really in that uh, first box, as kind of usually the case with Panini retail products. There will be a hit in this one, though. So, Jack, good luck. Let's see what we can find in this mega box. There should be one guaranteed auto in here. So you'll probably see these out on the shelves at Walmart. I've seen this for the last two weeks. It's not really selling too quickly. Panini doesn't really sell in my neck of the woods. Their prism boxes have been sitting there literally since they came out. Of course, I helped them out yesterday. I bought a mega box and a, um, a blaster box because I had to buy one of everything. <laughs> we got Victor Medeiros right there. And Dale Murphy. Who's the hit going to be? Brooks Robinson, Mark Pryor. And next up, we've got Chase Petty. Lou Brock. I like these Luminance cards. These Luminance cards remind me a lot of Stadium Club, which, by the way, Stadium Club will be coming out, looks like, sometime in January, actually. A bit of a delay there. It was supposed to come out last month, but got shelved for a little while. We got Joe Morgan. I think the next release is coming down the pike or Inception. We got uh, Brian Ramos right there. And Cam Collier, Bubba Chandler. Ben Joyce looking for our first hit. Is this going to be it? Ben Joyce is not the hit. It's going to be an, uh, an XR baseball thicker stock card. Pete Crow Armstrong X Fractor. Still looking for the hit here. Jack Collin, let's see what you find in your next pack here. If I can ever get it opened up. There we go. We got Joey Weimer. See so many of his cards in Topps Update and Autographs. Rogers Hornsby in this next one. Tres Gonzalez. And Tim McCarver. Me, personally, I'm not a big fan of Archives. Not, not, not Archives. Check that. This is kind of like their version of Archives with the different designs. Chronicles. It's just a little too busy for me with all the different designs. I, I like how Archives does it with just three designs, so you don't have to... I almost feel like I'm looking through some mixed collection of just all kinds of different cards. And you know, Whenever you go to like a, I don't know, like a flea market or something, there's just a whole bunch of random different cards all thrown together. It's kind of almost like that. Here's Trevor Hoffman, and I was hoping that was going to be the hit. It'd be nice to find a Hall of Fame autograph in here. We still have two packs to find the autograph or the relic. Probably most likely a relic, and there it is. It is Colson Montgomery. He was a former first-round pick by the White Sox. Colson Montgomery, hit number one. So, you know, I'd rather, if it was me, I would rather spend $29, $29.92, and pick up a holiday mega box if I'm gonna get a you know a relic all the time. Now we'll see. Maybe there'll be another autograph in here. I guess I don't know what the odds are of finding an auto in these these monster boxes would be. But if it's like one in every ten or even eight, I think I'd rather spend my money on a holiday box. Jack Holland, thank you very much. That's your box in the books. Next up it's Nicholas Vitali. Let's check out your blaster box. Let's see if we can get something going from these blaster boxes. The first one didn't have much of anything. There are three blaster exclusive revolution cards in here. $25 a box. Here is box number two on this Saturday. Nicholas, good luck to you. Let's see what we can find. Kiddos want to put the Christmas tree up today, so I've been working to clean up the uh, entryway of the house. I've got all these archives cases kind of piled up there right now. So doing a little organizing, and uh, we'll get our Christmas tree put up today, which is pretty early for us. Typically, whenever I was growing up, we didn't put the Christmas tree up till after Thanksgiving, but they're in the Christmas spirit right now, and I'm sure some of you have heard a lot of Christmas music if you've been out at the stores so might as well go ahead and get that project done. There's Drew Jones for Nicholas. And we'll see what else we have. There's Andrew Jones. So Drew and Andrew in the same pack there. We've got Daniel Susack right here. Not a big fan of how the cards are all flipped over all the time. Kind of a little annoying. I can see doing that with the hit. There's Canseco. It's a cool card right there. Reminds me of the original Pinnacle. These are all flipped over. Let's flip them over. and Oh, they're flipped over again. Next up, we've got Cal Ripken, clear card. Carlton Fisk is a nice-looking card. Orlando Cepeda, that's a nice card there. Looks like he's on a golf course, actually. That would be kind of a cool video. I've wanted to do that one for a while. Do a baseball video except on a golf course. Like playing golf except with a baseball bat. 
We've got our, got our next hit. It's Jet Williams. It is going to be yet again another relic. So Jet Williams. And you know what? It's actually from a blaster box, so that's okay. We'll take it. It's not like it's from one of those mega boxes. If all three mega boxes give us relics, I'm going to say, yikes, stay away from this. I'm glad we got a relic in there in the blaster box. So, Nicholas, now let's check out your mega box and see what we can find. Mickey Mantle on the front of this box, along with Jordan Lawler. Lawler's in the big leagues now. He made his MLB debut. You'll likely see him in Topps Series 2. All right, Nicholas, here's the next packs up. Let's see if we can get you an autograph. I don't understand why Mickey Mantle's on the front of these packs, by the way. There was a big, uh, big to-do, big reunion of Tops reacquiring the rights to Mickey Mantle. I think that was two years ago. What happened? Was it just for one year? They really didn't do much with Mantle at all, either. They, uh, they made like an NFT of him, and they made the Mickey Mantle boxes, those 2021, was it 2021? Mickey Mantle boxes where they just kind of rehashed all the different old mantle designs and put them in there and tossed in, I think, seven total autographs, which we pulled one of them. Literally seven autos in the entire print run, and we pulled one of them here on the channel, one of the greatest pulls ever here on the channel. So they had his rights, I guess, just for a year or so, and then Panini got them back. There's Drew Jones again. I don't know. I, I guess Panini was like, we really need to have mantle because we're only doing old players now and prospects. I haven't really seen many Mantle cards. Although they do have Mantle's, you know, image on the box. Like maybe that that helps sell boxes. I'm not really finding a lot of Mantle cards. It'd be cool if they'd put some Mantle relics in here. Some cut autos, but, you know, those are tough to come by. All right, Nicholas, still looking for your hit, Nicholas V. We also have another Nicholas coming up in the on-deck circle. There's Jim Bunning, sold a couple of his cards last night in our Whatnot auction. Warming Bernabelle, there's Jim Catfish Hunter. Is this going to be the hit? It's a thicker card. It is not. It's a recon Gavin Williams, and there's Nolan Ryan Obsidian, which is a nice-looking card right there. This pack feels thick. Maybe this will have the hit. I'm hoping it's going to be a, like a patch auto here. Dennis Eckersley leads this one off, and we'll see. There it is. It's going to be yet another relic. It's Brooks Lee, status swatches relic. Brooks Lee, first-round pick by the Twins last year. Nice young player, but it's a relic worth a few, few dollars. So no autographs yet. Justin Crawford and J.R. Ritchie. And we've got one more pack here for Nicholas Vitale. Again, 45 bucks before taxes on these boxes. I would advise you, go buy those holiday boxes. And we're not seeing a lot of holiday coming on the shelves. I, I hit up a restock, like I said, yesterday. And it just was recently stocked. You could tell nothing was really touched yet. And uh, there's maybe four boxes of holiday. So they're stocking holiday, but just a trickle now. Just a few boxes each week. So they're kind of tough to find. I don't know if they're doing that on purpose to kind of save the inventory and as we roll into you know, the holiday season. They released that product awfully early this year. Came out a few weeks ago, right around like Halloween. In fact, I think it was out before Halloween. Nicholas Legamaro is up next. All right, this is our last two boxes of this video. We've got a blaster box for you, Nicholas, and we've got a mega box. So far, the mega boxes, I'd have to give those probably a, a D at best, maybe an F, because and $45 is not a bad price. If they were charging like 80 bucks for that, I would psh, forget that, but $45 is not terrible, but you're not guaranteeing an autograph, and so far, we've only pulled relics. All right, so here we go with this next one here for Nicholas Legamaro. Good luck to you. Hope we can find you something good. There's Robin Roberts. Justin Crawford is in there. They pulled a, a relic out of the last one. It'd be nice to pull another one. And Evan Carter right there for the Texas Rangers. That's a nice one. There's a Albert Pujols card also, Revolution. Nice looking card right there. Take a look at the next cards up. Yuri Perez, rookie card. He started out the season so well. He's doing so, so well, and the Marlins sent him down because they wanted to save his uh, save his arm a little bit and manage his innings. And then he came back up and just wasn't quite as good. That can happen throughout the course of the season, though. You know, a young player like that logging a bunch of innings. 
second half they might not be as good. Here's the last box of this video, and thank you for joining us today, everybody. Again, we'll be live tonight on Patreon only if you want to check us out over there doing a box award, giving away a $500 Ken Griffey Jr. painting. If you'd like to participate in the box awards, we sell all those spots on Patreon. They are for sale right now on Patreon if you'd like to check it out. Now let's check these out and see what we've got in this one. There's Jackie Robinson, Ellie De La Cruz rookie card right there. Again, Ellie De La Cruz makes his way in because he did not appear in the big leagues before a certain time frame. I'm guessing that they have some sort of criteria for players that can be in this and Ellie De La Cruz didn't come up until about mid-June. Next pack up we've got Larry Walker in there along with a next factor of Wilmer Flores. Four packs left. Still looking to see if we can find an autograph here. Christian Hernandez. A bunch of upside down. The whole pack's upside down at that point. There's Drew Jones. Chronicles card. Jack Morris. Bob Lemon. And there's the Hernandez. Three packs left. Come on, let's at least get one autograph out of these. If there's not an autograph in here, I'm going to say hard pass. And, uh, yeah, I would probably hard pass on these. Our third relic. It's Elian Soto, who's a nice player. Juan Soto's younger brother. Kind of see a little bit of Juan Soto in that batting stance right there. So a gold standard swatches jersey relic of Elian Soto. There's the back of the card. And uh, unfortunately, no autos at all. So altogether, what did I spend on all these? $222. And what do we have to show for it? Do we even have $20 worth of cards? Man, that was rough. Maybe with the relics, I don't know. But um, I'm going to say probably I would pass on these. Hey, Bud Seelig gets a card. Bud Seelig kind of hated by a lot of people. I actually kind of grew to like Bud Seelig, believe it or not. Definitely more popular than, uh, I think, Rob Manfred. Bud Seelig was kind of hated because he presided over the whole steroid era, kind of turned a blind eye to that and all that stuff. And uh, let's see what else we have in here. He was instrumental, though, in the game coming back, you know, from the strike and everything. There's Last card is Trevor Hoffman. So, Nicholas, thank you very much. So, there you have it. It's Chronicles Retail Review. And generally, the rule of thumb that I'm, you know, kind of seeing is if it is a Panini product and it's retail, probably want to stay away from it. At least I would. Uh, there's other stuff out there I would suggest you pick up. Like I said, the Topps Holiday Boxes are awesome. The Archives Blaster Boxes are nice. And we're going to pick up a box of everything that was on the shelves. I already picked them all up. It was almost $600 worth of boxes, just a whole haul of boxes. We'll be doing that video for you either tomorrow or sometime early next week. And uh, we'll see what we can find there. So didn't find much in this one. Thank you very much for watching. Check us out on our live stream on Patreon only tonight. Have a great rest of your Saturday, and I'll see you all later. Good night, everybody.